Today we will be covering the 10 amp smart switch, the 16 amp smart switch and the 3 pin smart adapter. Please note that each device does have a, de a different pairing and reset module as indicated with the red circles in the image. Today we will be using the 16 amp as an example for pairing. However, each device does pair through the same application portal. To get connected with your smart home application, you can scan the QR code that is available on your user manual inside of your product packaging. Otherwise, you can search on the Google Play Store or Apple Store for Toya Smart or Smart Life. We do prefer the Smart Life application. Once you have downloaded and installed the application, you can register with your email address, create a password, and then get verification. Once a verification step is complete, it will prompt you to open up the application, which will open you into the home page. I'll be showing you how to connect a Wi-Fi smart switch through your Toya Smart Life application. To add a new device, click uh, the top right hand corner, the big plus button. The specific switch can be found under electrician, switch and Wi-Fi switch. Please ensure that your uh, device is connected to your Wi-Fi network as well as that your password is correct. On your Wi-Fi smart device, please ensure that the indicator light is rapidly blinking. To do so, you can hold in the reset button for 5 to 10 seconds. Once the device is blinking, you can click confirm and continue to the next step. The device will now be added. This process usually takes between 30 seconds to 1 minute. Once the device is added, you can change the name of the device. This name will also be your voice integration name. So for your voice commands, this is the name that's, that your voice command will follow. So for example, I will be setting this to pool pump. Once it's saved, it will take you directly into the, um, the integration of the device once you say done. You can then control the device all from your cell phone application. You can turn the, the switch on and off. And you can also select multiple timing options, such as a countdown and a schedule. On the schedule, you can select the days of the week that you would like the device to run, as well as time of the day. And once it clicks save, it will add a schedule there for you. You can also circulate the timer as well as selecting a start time and end time as well as days of the week. As well as you can also select a random timer for days of the week, start time and end time. The device also allows for inching, uh, which means that each time the device is turned on, it will automatically turn off after a period of operation. If you are interested in any of the products displayed in this video, the links are down in the description below and are available for online purchase.